If it's only several thousand years old, could you briefly summarize what you think the history of the universe is? Briefly summarize what I think the history of the universe right, is. Right, from like just Big Bang to now. Yeah, so I don't... Which is uh, big impression of time. Yeah, I've kind of, uh, I kind of jettisoned the Big Bang because it's, got, it's, it's rife with, with problems. And so it's got too many problems for me to care about defending it, trying to defend it anymore. Right. And so I go with uh, the non-Big Bang, God spoke, and it stood fast, Psalm 33. Um, so that happened. Um, so we have uh, Creation Week, which was uh, uh, six days of working, and the seventh day he rested, and he said it's all very good. Jesus actually referred to that somewhat indirectly in Mark 10.6 when he said, Have you not read to the Pharisees? He that made them in the beginning made them male and female. Well, that's Adam and Eve in the beginning. So there's no um, history of the world. Well, there's no Adam and Eve from apes. It's Adam and Eve from the beginning. So spoken into existence, just okay. like it says. So that's uh, the reason I think it's thousands, not millions of years ago. Uh, it's just because of the chronologies that the Bible gives. So it gives the number of years from... Um, creation to the flood, and then you can uh, add the numbers of years of the kings, and then you, can, you have a total chronology, and it's tight, and it goes from creation to the cross. The, then the whole chronology is there. I mean, we know it within, uh, you know, within, say, 50 years plus minus, something like that. Okay, so you're and saying... so there's chronologists, biblical chronologists that are full-time, and that's what they do. Um, so, so I'm saying it's, uh, yeah, I'm saying that my history of the world, I get it from the eyewitnesses, from God himself who wrote the word, and so he's saying it's thousands... 6,000 years, something like that. Okay. And that's, that includes the stars. So the, so the, starlight, um, the starlight hit the earth on day four, the same day the stars were created, according to the testimony of the one who did it. Yeah. 